So we've seen a way to attach a network drive onto our EC2 instances, but they have limited performance. And I say with quotes because it's actually really good performance, but sometimes you want something even higher performance, and that is going to be a hardware disk attached onto your EC2 instance. So the EC2 instance is a virtual machine, but it is obviously attached to a real hardware server. And some of these servers do have disk space that is attached directly, you know, with a physical connection onto the server. And so a special type of EC2 instance can leverage something called an EC2 instance store, which is the name of the hardware the hard drive attached to the physical server. So what we would use EC2 instance store, we will use them for better IO performance. We will also make sure that they have good throughput and so on. So they're a great choice when you want to have extremely high disk performance. But the caveat is that if you stop or you terminate your EC2 instance that has an instance store, then the storage will be lost. And therefore it's called an ephemeral storage. So that means that the EC2 instance store can now be used as a durable long-term place to store your data. So what is a good use case for it then? Well, if you have a buffer, a cache, you want to have scratch data or temporary content, this would be a great place to do these things, but not for long-term storage. For long-term storage, EBS, for example, is a great use case. Finally, in case the underlying server of the EC2 instance does fail, then you'll risk to have a data loss because the hardware attached to the EC2 instance will fail as well. So if you do decide to use an EC2 instance store, then it is your entire responsibility to make sure that you back it up and that you replicate it correctly based on your needs. So what I mean by better performance, this is just an example to illustrate it, don't need to know it, but if we look at, for example, the instance size of i3 dot something, there is an instance store attached to these kind of instances. And if you look at the read IOPS and the write IOPS, which correspond to how many IO operations we can do per second, then you can see that some of these random read IOPS and write IOPS can reach 3.3 million or 1.4 million for the most uh, performant one. And to put this in comparison, with an EBS volume of type GP2, for example, you can reach 32,000 IOPS uh, so this is a lot more. But again, it's just to illustrate my point. From an exam perspective, anytime you see very high performance hard hardware attached volume for your EC2 instances, think local EC2 instance store. That's it. I will see you in the next lecture.